In part 1 of the videos on uh, PV parameter extraction, we discussed the uh, key parameters that need to be um, obtained from the data sheets. And uh, we also looked at uh, what is the uh, typical uh, information available from uh, a commercial PV module. And uh, we went on to um, um, derive an expression for the photon current, which turns out to be uh, simply the short circuit current available directly from the data sheet. Now, in part two um, on parameter extraction, we will derive the expressions um, needed to uh, determine the shunt resistance uh, as well as the uh, series resistance. Um, okay, so the next parameter that we will uh, look at is this, the shunt resistance. So, in uh, earlier videos, we have seen the effect of the shunt resistance on the IV curves. And uh, so this plot is an IV curve corresponding to four different values of shunt resistances ranging from 1 ohm to 100 ohms and these are for a single cell. Okay. So uh, we observed that the uh, main effect of the shunt resistance is at the uh, short circuit condition and uh, it mainly affects the slope of the IV curve at um, the short circuit condition. So you can see that the slope of the current is drastically different um, uh, for different values of the shunt resistance. Um, higher the shunt resistance, then the slope is very small and for uh, 1 ohm very small or shunt, the slope is extremely uh, large. So therefore, we can make use of the um, uh, the measured slope at the um, uh, slope of the IV curve at the short circuit condition to make an estimate of the shunt resistance and that's what we will see in the next slide. Okay, so in order to uh, make use of this relationship between the shunt resistance and the slope of the IV curve at the short circuit condition, uh, let's take the derivative of the current with respect to the to the voltage. So here is the expression for the current and uh, here the VT of course is the thermal voltage which already includes this uh, NS, the number of cells in series. Okay. So we need to take the, uh, we need to get DI over DV. Uh, so that is done here. So if you look at uh, this equation, I photon is uh, is a constant, it's a short circuit current. It's independent of the voltage. Therefore, D I photon over DV is zero. Coming to the second term, so you have this um, minus I O times minus one, the actually the third term. So I O is also a constant. Therefore, its derivative with respect to the voltage is also zero. So we just need to consider the derivative of I O times this exponential term. Okay. So the derivative of exponential term will be the entire term e to the v plus irs over vt uh, times the derivative of just uh, this term. Okay. So if you look at that, the first term, the vt of course is a constant, so that is taken outside. It's uh, 1 over vt here. And uh, so we have dv over dv, that is 1. And then rs times di over dv, that is this term. Okay. So now we completed the first two terms and looking at the third term, uh, once again r shunt is a constant. So therefore, this would be, the first term would be uh, minus 1 over R shunt times dV over dV, which is 1. And the last term would be uh, RS over R shunt, the two constants there, times the dI over dV. Okay. So that's a complete derivative of the current with respect to the voltage. Okay, then let's collect all the dI over dV terms to the, to the left-hand side. So this 1 corresponds to the dI over dV on the left-hand side. Uh, and on the right hand side we have, uh, there is one term um, here, so that would be plus RS over R shunt when you take it to the left hand side. There is another term here, so that would be um, plus IO over VT times RS times this exponential term. Okay. So those are the three DA over DV terms. And then what remains on the right hand side are uh, the term corresponding to this, that would be minus IO over VT times the exponential term. And uh, the last term is this minus 1 over R shunt that is shown here. Okay. So that is the um, the general expression for dA over dV. So if you divide this right-hand side by this um, expression inside this parenthesis, we get the dA over dV. And that is valid for any operating condition anywhere along the IV curve. But then we are specifically interested um, at the slope or the dA over dV uh, exactly at the short circuit condition. So let's look at what are all the simplifications that we can make uh, make use of corresponding to the short circuit condition. So if you look at this term I over times the, the exponential V plus I R S over V T, which is the diode current, uh, under short circuit current, uh, under short circuit condition, V is zero. Therefore, this reduces to simply E to the I S C R S over V T. And for normal values of R S, which we know is uh, small, 
this term is small at least it's comparable to the thermal voltage therefore the exponential term is not very high and that multiplied by the IO which is in the nano amperes 10 to the minus 9 um, range so this entire term is very small under short circuit condition therefore that is uh, that can be neglected so that simplifies uh, this dA over dB quite a bit it removes both of these terms having the exponential quantity then we also know that the series resistance is uh, well is much smaller than the shunt resistance so typical values RS is um, below 0.3 ohms and the shunt resistance is uh, higher than 300 ohms so there's at least a factor of um, 1000 difference between the RS, RS and R shunt therefore RS over R shunt is also very small and can be neglected so therefore what we're left with is that the uh, DA over DV equals minus 1 over R shunt or the R shunt is the 1 over DA over DV or um, our final expression for the extracting the shunt resistance is R shunt equals uh, negative DV over DI under short circuit condition okay? or in other words the shunt resistance is the inverse of the slope of the IV curve at short circuit okay so the next parameter that we will um, estimate is the series resistance uh, RS um, again in an earlier video we looked at in detail what is the effect of series resistance on the IV plots um, so what we observed was that the series resistance significantly affects the slope of the IV curve near the open circuit um, condition uh, so this is uh, IV curve corresponding to a relatively small value of um, series resistance and you can see the uh, slope is um, uh, the DI over DV is very high for small resistance now this is the curve for RS2 which is higher than RS1 and as seen the slope near the open circuit um, condition is, uh, is smaller than the corresponding slope for RS1 and as I increase the um, series resistance higher and higher you can see the slope um, of the DI over DV becomes um, smaller and smaller therefore we can uh, potentially use this relationship to estimate the series resistance from the slope of the IV curve uh, at open circuit condition so let's look at the slope um, or the DI over DV uh, in order to determine the series resistance now we have already derived the DI over DV um, while determining the shunt resistance so let's go back to that slide um, so which is here so we started with the current expression took the uh, derivative of that with respect to the voltage and we came up with this expression involving DA over DV and uh, this is a general expression meaning it is valid for any operating condition for R shunt we looked at the condition corresponding to the short circuit now to determine the series resistance RS we will look at the same equation but apply it at the um, open circuit conditions so let's get, go back to the slide corresponding to the uh, series resistance so um, I have the same equations um, that I, we saw in the previous slide corresponding to the DI over DV and in this we will substitute the conditions um, representing the open circuit uh, condition ok uh, let's specifically look at uh, this term this IVO uh, exponential um, VD over VT uh, and of course um, VD the diode voltage under open circuit condition is the VOC because uh, the current I is 0 okay. so this is nothing but the diode current um, so this is the diode current and um, under open circuit condition uh, by definition there is no external current therefore the entire um, photon current or which is same as the short circuit current as we saw in the earlier slide um, so the entire short circuit current is the uh, diode current uh, uh, of course there is a small approximation here so this is really ISC minus a small current flowing in the shunt resistance which is the VOC over the R shunt now R shunt being usually a um, fairly large value in the um, several hundreds of ohm range therefore this current is uh, negligible it's approximately zero okay. so we make this um, small approximation in order to get uh, a simpler looking expression for the uh, series resistance okay so using uh, this expression the equation one then simplifies um, as shown here so the um, so uh, DA over DV times one plus uh, RS over R shunt is here 
and uh, this quantity here is uh, RS times the um, ISC uh, from here. So that would be RS ISC over VT, uh, this VT here. So that is equal to, on the right hand side, we have again this entire quantity is uh, ISC. So we have minus of ISC over VT minus of the 1 over R shunt uh, from 1. Okay. So and then uh, in the next step, I'm just taking the di over dv to the right-hand side, where it becomes dv over di, so nothing else. Um, and um, then I take the 1 from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, so 1 goes away, and there's a minus 1 here. And then I just divide the right-hand side by the terms inside this parenthesis. Okay. So what I end up is uh, rs is uh, this minus dv over di. And if you notice, this term is exactly the same as this term, so they cancel. So you have minus dv over di minus 1 over this entire quantity. Okay, okay then we make another simplifying assumption, which is to say that this term, the 1 over r shunt, is much smaller than the isc over vt, the second term, and as shown here. Okay. Now this is a reasonable approximation because R shunt is usually a large value, several hundreds of ohms. So that in uh, so one over that in comparison with ISC over VT is uh, is negligibly small. So this is zero. So this uh, sorry this term is neglected. Okay. So that leads us to the final expression for the series resistance, which is um, uh, RS equals the minus dV over dI minus this being cancelled away now we have only the vt over isc term okay so that is the final expression for the series resistance so which is take the um, uh, inverse of the slope of the iv curve at open circuit condition so that is minus dv over di at open circuit minus the thermal voltage divided by the isc that is the series resistance now in later videos when we look at some um, real examples from uh, practical um, data sheets uh, we will see that the second term is non, this cannot be neglected. So we need this complete term to determine the series resistance. Okay. Now the catch is that now we can get this, the first term, from the from the IV curve, from the data sheet. Uh, but the second term, the VT over ISC, the ISC is uh, of course easy to get, this is easy to get. But the VT, the thermal voltage, uh, this is the definition, so that is NSAKT over Q. Uh, NS is obtained from the data sheet, K, Q, and the temperature, they are all known. But what is not known is this diode ideality factor A. Okay. So that's why we need to determine the A, the um, reverse saturation current IO, and the series resistance RS uh, using three simultaneous uh, nonlinear equations.